Hey, my name is Shanshan. I sell art on shanshan.co and do screen reading on shanshanacting.com. Today we're going to check out Peter Dratson. All right, so let's get into it, guys. All right, so Peter Dratson, he has kind of his own kind of really harsh uh, painting tutorials, um, harsh colors, I would say, like blacks to really orange or black to blue or white, and it's really harsh kind of boom, pop in your face colors which are good for the thumbnails on youtube and he also sells his own art supplies so that's really smart so let's just check out this one this is about brushes So he's just kind of wandering through all the different brushes. He's showing like the flexibility of the brushes. It's just a commercial, obviously. And he's taking these brushes and repainting them. I don't know if he's just buying brushes and then just spray painting and putting his own logo on. I don't know. I mean, it's pretty smart if he is. I don't, I don't think he's designing himself. He's outsourced them. Um, and yeah, he's just kind of running through the brushes. Um, he's not showing them putting the paint. Let's see if he does further ahead here. Okay, so he doesn't show them actually putting the paint on the brush, which would have been a great demo. So I don't know why he doesn't do that. He obviously has his um, painting tutorials. So he kind of shows how you use the paint and here's just showing how the brush works. But if you don't show using the paint on the brush, you really don't know, have any ideas. So I would probably redo this commercial. Um, it does have really good... Um, like that classical music background. So it kind of gets that. He shows his logo several times, where to buy them. Um, but he doesn't introduce himself like, hey, I'm Peter Drotson. I might want to add that on that video. But yeah, let's get into the next video. Just one of these really simple techniques versions. Um, straight down so you can see what's going on. So you'll notice here he's adding in his own logo brush. So obviously very smart. I didn't realize in his painting tutorials he'd have his own brushes, but that totally makes sense if you're going to sell brushes and painting. So he's just kind of double, not double dipping, but I mean, it's just a great way to sell art supplies. If you're a painter, you're going to be like, oh man, how do I get that effects? I'll just buy the brushes from this guy, right? So I mean, <laughs> in a way it's pretty smart. I think I would have branded it all under Peter Dratson instead of, um, I think he has you are something art which is um, a nice gener generic name. But if you have Peter Dranson, then you'd be like, wow, it's Peter Dranson. He makes these great paintings. But if it's just like URR, you're like, all right, some generic paintbrush. So I think he kind of lowered his branding by doing that. Let's keep going. Let's skip ahead a little bit. So just really simple techniques, similar to a uh, Bob Ross style, I would say. It's black, dark blue, white, that's it. So he's using a nice zoom where he's kind of zooming in with the lens, which is really nice. You get a lot of different impact uh, with the viewer. Um, he's using very simple techniques, white, black, 
and now he has blue. So he has literally three colors and he's not really blending it per se too much. So it's just really simple techniques. You can probably copy this and make a decent painting right out of the gate. So it's a really smart way to brand um, art that people can do that's really easy out of the gate and get that kind of beginner artist group. It's not really a collector group, but for that beginner artist, this would be super attractive, I think. Let's go to the next one. So this one's a little more complicated. It's a fox in snow. So let's take a close look. So again, that really quick adds glops of paint on there. I would recommend using cardboard like he's doing, but it's a really cool impact effect, I think. Using a little bit of uh, time lapse, so just sketching in the animal really quick. There's a little bit of color on top. <laughs> okay, God, just go. So I will think the really cool thing here is he's using a really simple techniques for a beginner. He's using literally like two or three brushes. He's got like this barber brush. He's kind of taking a barber brush and kind of cut it so it's got more angle to it. He's got a straight big wide brush and he has like a really thin brush. He's using three brushes only. Minimum colors, maybe this is like blue, white, black, and then this nice kind of maybe burnt sienna. So he has three colors in here. Any beginner artist can get this and not make almost any mistake as long as you kind of dabble the paint on. Similar to the way he's doing, you're going to get very similar effects right out of the gate. So it's kind of a very simple, easy way to sell to the beginner artist that doesn't know anything about art. It's kind of experimenting, play around, doesn't have any clue at all. Um, he's making a really solid video, I think, here. Let's move on a little further in the video. So it is very cute, kind of, you know, fox in the snow, and it's very cute and kind of kitschy, but obviously this would be a big seller, I think, with uh, particular types of audiences that like this kind of simple folk art look. Uh, let's go into the next one. So you can see here, it's interesting. He has his logo up the side, Dranson 151. Um, so that's obviously his 151 video. Um, I never number my video because I don't think it's useful. Um, I think, who else does this numbering? Uh, Joe Logan does it, or Joe Rogan. Uh, he's one of the top you know, YouTubers and he has every single number on there. And I'm like, what's the point? I mean, it's good to kind of date your work, but you can read the date and it really doesn't matter in a sense. And the same thing with a painting tutorial, it doesn't really matter time-wise. Um, it's cool for you in a sense, but unless you're doing like a vlog, like I think with, so I think with the, let's go closer. So I think with the vlog, um, like say Casey Neistat, he had a vlog where he would number each vlog and it was a day and you saw that kind of match up with his life when he was in New York, he'd travel and then he moved to LA. So the numbering system makes sense in a vlog sense perhaps, but a painting tutorial really doesn't make any sense. Um, so looking at all his videos, he has really kind of a nice mostly painting tutorial. He has one or two videos on his products from brushes to From brushes to, you know, paint. He's actually selling huge paint kits with brushes. So he's really capitalizing on the Bob Ross model. Very simple technique, few colors, a simple palette. Do it with like three or four brushes and literally paint a, like a little beginner art painting, but just do it over and over and over again as you're reeling people with the simplistic painting. Maybe they buy that. And then also the paint kits. He's probably making a lot of money on the paint kits. He's getting... 100,000 million views on these paintings because they're very simple, easy to replicate. You can just buy these simple materials, start your own painting, and you probably get similar effects to what he's painting, and you won't feel like, oh, this is hard to do. I can actually master this. Whereas if you get like a complex, um, you know, master painting like Andrew Tischler, and you saw that as a beginner, you'd be like, whoa, this is impossible. <laughs> So he's really capitalizing on that really narrow, very beginner, has no idea about art, no idea about art history. They just want to learn something for fun as a kind of really hobby, not really artistic at all kind of level. But it's fine because there's always, everyone starts somewhere. So 
you know, most beginners, you would, this would be the same level of your beginner. So if you like painting as a kid, but then you totally left it at 10 and then you pick it up at 30, this would probably be the video for you. So yeah, he's reaching a really solid market. Um, I don't think he's, you know, I don't know if he does other serious work, but this, you know, if his legacy is this, he's really just going to sell a lot of paintbrushes and a lot of paint. I don't know if anyone's going to collect his work later. It's going to be kind of a Bob Ross style art where, you know, Bob Ross was famous because he did it at first kind of on TV. So his work's probably collectible just from the sense like, oh, Bob Ross, he's the king of painting and every painter ever saw him. But this guy's, you know, six, seventh generations out. And a lot of people are doing this style on um, YouTube to kind of reach that simple beginner YouTube um, audience, which is fine, but you're not going to, you're going to kind of pigeonhole yourself into non-serious art. So later, you know, probably this artwork might be thrown out, but you make a lot of money in the meantime. So I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I guess he's going to make a lot of money. So, um, I would also add your face to the video. It's kind of strange when they do these videos like this on painting tutorials where they don't introduce themselves first. Um, you really have that lack of bond between the audience and the painter. So you're just like, oh, this guy paints, but we never know what he looks like. You never recognize him. If you want to remain anonymous, I guess you do this. But the guy doesn't look unappealing. It's not like he's super like disfigured or something. So why wouldn't you show yourself on camera? But, you know, this guy's killing it on views, you know, 100,000 of views, sometimes 14,000, sometimes a million view count. So he's really, he's narrowed that niche down to YouTube where it's just painting tutorials so the algorithm has figured it out and then shared his work and it's easy to see. So anyone that's not an artist, which is most people are not artists, he's definitely hitting that side of the market versus the really artist or the collector side, which is even smaller. So he's taking like 99% of the market and then, you know, leave the 1% for the rest of the artists trying to compete for real art, right? Real art. <laughs> and yeah, he's just, he's probably killing it. So congrats to Peter. Um, as far as learning as an artist, I don't think you can learn much here, but you can learn how to market. This guy's doing a really excellent way to market. I wouldn't do this for a long time because you're going to paint yourself again into that non-serious art that collectors are never going to look at really. So, you know, for long term, it's not smart, but for the short term, make a lot of money, make a splash in the market. It could be a way to go. And that's my take on Peter Dranitson. I hope to see you guys next time. Thanks.